What's a better job, plumber or electrician? We're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about it right now. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I've been plumbing over 38 years, and I have every master endorsement in the state of Texas. On this channel, I'm teaching you how to fix your plumbing fast and free. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. What's a better job, plumber or electrician? That's something that gets asked a lot, and it's... Will you get out of here? <sighs> that is a question that everybody asks before they get into the trades. Now, the really neat thing about it is, you know, different people like different kind of work. Electricians, most electricians don't like to get dirty. Plumbers, we get paid to play in the mud. So really, it's kind of pretty cool. What I tell everybody is you need to think about different things. Number one, of course, would be that. Plumbers are normally a little bit dirtier kind of guys. We like to get muddy, we like to get dirty, we dig down in the ground, we, we tunnel under houses. We do a lot of things that most electricians, yeah, probably couldn't handle. Now, there's a lot of good things about being an electrician too. Believe it or not, they say electricians make more money than plumbers. Don't get me wrong, it's not a lot, but if all you're worried about before you get into this career is where are you going to make the most money, that may be something worth thinking about for you. Plumbers, on the average, make about $1,000 less a year. One million dollars! Maybe a little bit more, maybe a bit, little bit less. And really it depends on who you ask. So if you're thinking about a plumbing career, and all it is is about the money, plumbing may not be the right thing for you. There may be other things that you might be interested in. And I'll talk about some more of those later, but first I wanted to talk about becoming a plumber. Why would you want to do that instead of being an electrician? Do it! Me, if I get wet, it really doesn't bother me. Now don't get me wrong, I don't want to get drowned or anything like that, but when I get wet, I can change my jeans, I can change my shirt, I can change my boots. An electrician, they get sparked, okay? They get electrified, they get electrocuted. <laughs> Guys, that ain't fun. Have you ever been shocked by a lot of electricity? It hurts. That will piss you off. And I don't think that's the way I wanted to have to worry about going to work every day. And besides that, literally, I got recruited into plumbing by a friend. And I am so thankful his brothers and dad weren't electricians because I'd probably be standing here the expert electrician now. That's not what I want to be. I've had so much fun in my plumbing career and I enjoy it. Now, I'm not saying an electrician can't, but when it comes to being a plumber versus an electrician, there's really, it's just, it's up to you. And I mean, I love the fact that I'm a plumber. I take pride in my work. I take pride in the fact that I can go into people's homes and help them after other plumbers have done them wrong. And don't get me wrong, electricians can be the same way. And I've got friends that are electrician. And you know what? They are some really good people. Maybe a few screws loose, but they're some good people. That's the big thing, really, when it gets down to it at the end of the day, that you have to worry about is, are you afraid of electricity enough or afraid of getting shocked enough that that's gonna keep you out of it. Now don't get me wrong, if my friend would have been an electrician, I'd probably be an electrician these days, and I'd be telling you that is the best career that there is. You're gonna do a lot of the same things. And you've got the same questions to ask yourself. Do you wanna do residential or commercial? Do you wanna do new construction or service work? And do you wanna be union or non-union? Other than that, what we do is about the same. We have to learn to read blueprints. We have to learn to be analytical. We have to learn to go in and diagnose the system and find out what the problem is and what the best repair for that homeowner is or that business owner. Also, I talk about electricians not getting dirty. A lot of the underground work before a big commercial building goes up the electricians have work under there too. Depending on where they're bringing in their duct bank and whatnot, they do a lot of underground work too. Not near as much as the plumbers, but they still get dirty. And most of them cry about it. I'm gonna cry. So that's why I'm saying you may not wanna be an electrician. 
And don't get me wrong, like I said, I've got some friends that are, but they cry a lot. What, are you gonna cry now? Come on, cry, baby. Okay, they wish they were plumbers. So really the one thing that I will tell you is if you're thinking about your plumber salary or what it could be in the future, Guys, you're not going to make that much less than electricians. And to be honest, if you become really, really, really good, you're going to make a lot more than, than any of these services tell you that you can make. $100 billion. I went to balancecareers.com. And Balance Careers, and I just kind of wanted to get the national average. And it's funny because the site that I went on actually talked about salaries for tradespeople. Okay, these are people that don't go to college, they go to a trade school, they go to something special. Guys, the number one, elevator repair and replacement. Okay, so the elevator guys make great money. Now they don't just do elevators, they also do escalators, at least the ones that I've known. And I'll tell you what, they make amazing money. Now, the problem is there, if you wanna do residential work, there's not a lot of residential elevators. Now, don't get me wrong, I have seen some, but there's not a lot of them. If you're gonna be an elevator, escalator type guy, you're gonna be commercial, and you're probably gonna be union. Most of these companies are union. But I tell you what, after I got in the plumbing union, or after I had been plumbing for a while, I actually talked to some elevator installers on a job one day, their union is amazing. Wow. They get great benefits, they get great pay. There's a lot of good things about joining. You know what, I may go become an elevator installer. It is that good. Okay, I'm probably not gonna do that, but if I was just getting into the trades and I knew what I knew now, I would think about it. Now guys, there aren't near as many elevator workers as there are plumbers and electricians. So it's probably harder to get into. So now that I think about it, I'm really glad I'm a plumber. There are always going to be job opportunities for me, whether it's new construction or service, uh, whether it's residential or commercial. The job is always there. The population is growing so fast. We need more homes. We need more offices. We need more industrial plants. We are growing. We've got more people. Our infrastructure has to grow, and it takes plumbing electrical, and things like that. Now, plumbers came in on the list. You know, I told you the elevator guys came in at number one. Electricians came in at number seven. Plumbers came in at number nine. And then the worst of the worst. HVAC technicians. I'm joking about that because I'm also an HVAC technician. At least I'm a certified HVAC technician. I've got my card from TDLR. I just never do it. I went to school to learn how to do it because one day I thought maybe when I open my own plumbing company, I might do plumbing and air both. So I at least have that option. Their list showed electricians brought home about $1,010 a week or made about $1,010 a week. Plumbers made about $968 a week. Yoo! And HVAC techs made about $857 a week. I don't know that those numbers are right because I know what the plumbers make around here, and it's more than that. If you're a union plumber in the Dallas area right now, you're bringing home or you're making about twelve something a week, twelve fifty a week. I don't know how accurate their list is, but I will tell you this: it's not too far off. And I do know that the electricians around here make a little bit more than the union plumbers. But remember, guys, they got to worry about getting shocked all day. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and they do have to put themselves in dangerous situations. Now, I know if some electricians come in here, they're going to reply, well, you know, if you're a good electrician, you know how to turn the power off and you know how to do this. It's never dangerous. I know electricians that do hot panel work. I know electricians that have actually died because a timer kicked on when they thought the power was off. So there's always that possibility. And don't get me wrong, I know plumbers that have flooded buildings because somebody turned the water on. But if you use your lockout tag out right, or you valve things off and you, you leave a note, there's a lot of different things that you can do to help make sure that you're not in danger. So really when it comes down to being an electrician or a plumber, you gotta ask yourself, do you wanna work, work do you though? You have to ask yourself, 
Do you want to work with water or do you want to work with electricity? And really, it doesn't matter to me. I love what I do, and I hope that if you decide to get in either trade, and remember, I told you there are a lot of like, you, you may have to learn blue, you may have to learn blueprints, you may have to learn troubleshooting. There's a lot of things to learn. But guys, these are great trades to get in, and you don't have to go to college. So whichever way you go, even if it's an HVAC technician, it can be a great job, and it can help you give your family a great life. One thing to think about, and I want you to leave me a comment down below. Are you an electrician, a plumber, an HVAC technician, or do you work on elevators? And if you're not, but you've thought about any of these careers, please leave me a comment down below and let me know which way you're leaning. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.